In this video, I will show you how to edit my shell game template for your PowerPoint presentation. To get this template, go to the Dropbox folder in the description and download the template for free. First, I will explain how the animation window is built up. The animation window is built up out of 5 segments. The first segment is automatically played when the slide starts and will remove the arrows. The second segment is an animation sequence that plays when you click on the first arrow. The third and fourth segment are animation sequences that play when you click on the second and third arrow. The last segment is the most important segment and plays when you click on start at the beginning of the slide. To have the cups move, you want to add animations to it. You want to click on a cup, go to the animation step in the ribbon and go to the add animation window. And here you want to add the lines animation. You want to open up the animation pane and you want to right click on the animation that you've just added. You then want to click on start after previous and you want to change the duration to 1.5 seconds in the right up corner. You then want to drag this cup animation underneath the other cup animations under the trigger start. On screen right now is how I'm doing this. You now want to animate the cup. You want to click on the animation in the animation pane and this will open up the animation path. You want to look for the green and the red dot. You want to put the green dot on the spot where the last animation of this cup ended. For example, if the cup started in the middle and was animated to the left, you will put this green dot on the cross on the left cup. You want to put the red dot on the cross where your cup should go. You want to add the animations to the other cups as well. You now want to look at the animation pane and you want to have three animations play at the same time. Because you put the start setting start after previous to all animations, you want to change the other two to start with previous, like I'm doing on screen, and have the first one remain start after previous. You now want to animate the ball. You want to start by opening up the selection pane by going to home in the ribbon, arrange and selection pane. Because it makes it easier, the ball is made up out of two different objects. The first ball, called start ball, will always be in the middle. You want to move the other ball, called end ball, to the cup where it ends. For example, if your cup moves one to the right, you should put the end ball object underneath that cup. To change the winning cup, you want to open up the animation pane. Under the three triggers, you want to move some things around. You want to change the trigger of the cup animation under the arrow where the animation ends. For example, if after all the animations cup 3 ends under the second arrow, you want to change the trigger on cup 3 to option 2 arrow. You want to change the animations on all of the cups. To mark the winning cup, you put the next animation under the right trigger. For example, if the winning cup is cup 1, you put the next animation under option 1 arrow. And there you have it. I hope this video helped. Consider subscribing and I will see you next time.